All right, guys, so today we're gonna to talk about uh, disaster preparedness. Um, everybody in every state has their uh, form of um, natural disaster. You know, whether it could be, you know, hurricanes or flooding or, or um, tornadoes, earthquakes, uh, whatever, wherever you live, there's some type of natural disaster that you would prepare for, okay? Uh, out here in California, it's it's uh, big time. It's it's earthquakes. Um, in the last week or week and a half, uh, the geologists in, in the state have been going crazy about uh, earthquakes. Um, they say that you can't predict an earthquake, but they say that um, the uh, the big one, so to speak, is supposed to is supposed to happen. We're going to be looking for that like this week sometime, probably between. Uh, today, which is Monday, and Tuesday, tomorrow. Um, they say that we're real close to having a, a really big earthquake. Um, now, you might say, oh, well, I don't live in California, so that doesn't, that, that doesn't uh, um, pertain to me. Well, I hate to break the news to you, but the only states in the United States that have never had an earthquake is Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Iowa, Maryland, um, North Dakota, Vermont, and Wisconsin, okay? Uh, everywhere else has had an earth, at least one earthquake in its history. Um, the top 10 for, for the, the most uh, earthquakes in the United States is Alaska, California, Hawaii, Nevada, uh, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Utah, and Oregon, okay? Um, my side of the country, gets the most earthquakes, but earthquakes do happen on the East Coast even. So um, basically what the state of California um, recommends is for you to put together an earthquake kit. Now an earthquake kit is just basically a plastic tote with um, you know a few uh, items that might get you through a bad situation like, you know, canned goods and paper goods and flashlights and rope and, you know, anything that you might want to put in there to make your life better until um, help arrives or, or whatever. So uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, my version of the earthquake kit. Every September 21st uh, is Earthquake Preparedness Day here in California which really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because you know we're so centered on uh, preparing for earthquakes you'd figure that they would um, make every day earthquake preparedness day um, but I'm going to show you my version of the earthquake kit and um, maybe you can incorporate some th you know some things that I have you know into into uh, preparing for a disaster in your area uh, another another kind of disaster I didn't mention was uh, bad snowstorms. You know we don't get a whole lot of snow out here. However, it does snow on occasion, about every uh, about every three years or so uh, out here in the California desert we do get snow. Um, the last time it snowed here we got about about six or seven inches. Um, for most of you guys that live in real snowy areas that get real seasons. That's nothing, but out here, um, that, that, that's pretty bad. Uh, the last earthquake that happened in California was January 14th, 1994. Uh, it happened, uh, the epicenter was in uh, Northridge, California. Uh, that earthquake was a 6.7 magnitude, uh, and it happened at 4.30 in the morning. Um, people were asleep and you know caught off guard and uh, you know, it was a bad situation. I was there um, for doing um, a security detail when I was a firefighter uh, at Northridge College and that was just a devastated area. Um, it was so bad that you know, the students that went to the school could go into their dorm rooms and pick up as much stuff as they could carry to get, and get out of the, the dorm rooms. Um, Basically what it was, when you walk up inside the dorm, the whole building, you, you felt the building do this. Okay, it was just very bad. Um, 
And that was only a 6.7 and it lasted 10 to 20 seconds. So if it was any worse, there would have been a whole lot of dead people. Um, so anyway, let me, let me uh, get this camera turned around and uh, I'm gonna show you my earthquake kit. It's actually in that closet right there. This is uh, my daughter's old bedroom. Uh, she recently moved out, so I took advantage of the situation and I used that closet for my, uh, my earthquake kit. So hang on just a second, I'll get the camera turned around. Okay, so before I do that, I just wanted to uh, add something into the video. Uh, the reason why they're calling for uh, the big earthquake is because California has been experiencing um, a, a number of earthquakes in the last, um, like the last week or so, the last week or week and a half. And um, these earthquakes have, have stretched all the way from like Mexico all the way up into the LA basin area. So, and they're, they're hitting uh, quite often and they're, they're pretty good shakers. So anyway, let me get this camera turned around and um, I'll, uh, I'll show you that earthquake kit. Okay guys, so up in here we have, uh, turn the light on here real quick. Uh, that's fat wood right there. Up in there is um, dryer lint. It's in a big um, container. It's like the, the whey powder or whatever that is, the protein powder. I used, just reused that and put uh, dryer lint in that. Uh, that's my bug out bag, my wife's and my son's. Then we have a, a luggable loo. And there in the corner is um, my ammunition. Okay, and then down here, this is mostly um, um, uh, medical. Got this medical kit, this medical kit, and this toolbox is a medical kit. And then we have like my rifle and uh, my my uh, uh, my crossbow that I have to put together. Um, I had to; it was given to me taken apart and uh, just basically in pieces. And then uh, down there we have some baseball bats and a a BB gun. Um, this is my hammock. Um, this is a military duffel bag and then uh, of course we got the toilet paper and move that out of the way and water okay I have five or four cases of bottled water just like regular individual bottles and then I have that right down there um, which is just uh, six gallon containers um, and then um, we have uh, bleach and all of these milk crates right here are filled with, uh, with canned goods. This is dry goods like rice and uh, box meals and things like that. Um, and then up here is uh, a box of uh, MREs or pieces of MREs that um, I received from uh, a good friend of mine on YouTube. Uh, shout out to uh, Cabot Bluegill. But um, yeah, this is, this is my earthquake kit right here, guys. Um, now I have tested the uh, uh, taking all this stuff out on oh, them we have um, arrows and uh, my cold steel shovel um, and uh, we have uh, sling bows these right here we made out of uh, wrist rocket slingshots and it works pretty good uh, we have uh, extra batteries and uh, napkins and paper plates and stuff like that um, but yeah, this is, this is my earthquake kit. I've tested, um, or timed my, me and my family on taking all this stuff and throwing it in my truck. And it takes us about, uh, 12 to 15 minutes to unload the whole closet into the truck. So, I mean, just in case we have to get out of here and, uh, you know, I don't want to have to do that, but I mean, that situation might come around. Uh, that orange bucket right there and this little coffee can right here and that bag are like extra items for uh, fire kits and, and other various kits that, uh, that I've been putting together. But uh, of course we have my, my Lansky sharpening system and uh, some things like that in here also. But uh, yeah, there it is guys. 
that is my version of the earthquake kit. Now, like I said before, uh, the earthquake kit that the state of California recommends is just a plastic tote. Um, now, yes, one little plastic tote would probably be uh, quicker to move, but that's not enough room um, or, or not enough items in this crate to um, to make you know to have me or my family survive so that's that's just the way that goes and that, that's why I did it this way my earthquake kit is one complete closet and um, so uh, anyway there we go guys thanks for watching and uh, we'll get back to you another time